absolutely fantastic. It's not sunny outside, but it is in here. <laughs> Ray of sunshine. Thank you, Mrs. H. Welcome to the Sunday shave, to the weekend shave. And I hope your weekend's going fantastically well, and I hope you're happy and good shaves, and I hope that most important thing, you're in good health. What are we using today? Right, Parker Variant. There we go, Parker Variant. A lovely razor, well built, well balanced, um, nice. As you all may know, it's the um, Parker's version of the Merker uh, Progress. Uh, very nice razor. I think this particular model holds the blade tighter, if that makes sense. And it feels a bit um, solid, more solid when you're shaving. Merker Progress is a good razor, don't get me wrong, but there's just a slight difference, for me personally. Um, inside, I'm using, if you remember a while ago, an ASCO blade. And I really enjoyed using the ASCO. So it's been used once, ASCO blade. Uh, on setting, and you can see the arrows meet there, arrow meets line. There is a slight overhang, and it's on setting. There's the dot setting three and a half, I think. You can see that three and a half in between three and four, and it smells like freshly ground coffee has been percolate percolated. Yeah, in this very bathroom. Why? Well, this is the reason why. Katie's bubbles Irish coffee. Now. I love the scent of coffee, love the smell of it. Um, oh. <laughs> it is nice, it's quite strong. And I was reading a comment from someone who bought this, loves coffee, and said they couldn't use it. It was too overpowering for them. And they were disappointed about that. But safely for me so far, the scent is lovely. It's given an aroma. Of, um, I've put some in here. Oh, another thing, using the West Coast Shaving Synthetic um, Ivory, I think it is, Ivory uh, Brush. So, you know, it's a false ivory. And something I've done, I soaked the brush. I don't mean soaked it for 10 minutes, I just soaked it under the tap. I didn't, I just, well, I shook it gently so it was still wet, very wet, in to my um, soap, Katie's Bubbles Irish Coffee it is, and really went to town and this is the result, absolutely beautiful, peaked like a meringue, and I've, well I'll wet my face again so you can see it is that I wet my face, I've now I've come out of the shower. Uh, I was going to use a pre-shave oil, but I'm not. I'm going to just use this, and I'm going to smell the coffee. Fancy joining me for coffee, do you? Mm. Beautiful. Oh, this brush is gorgeous. Oh, smell. <laughs> what a time to... It's like having morning coffee. Beautiful. Absolutely. You've got to like coffee. That is beautiful. So you've had a good week, have you? I hope. Whatever you've been doing, working. Holidays, retired. Beautiful, absolutely. And this soap lathers up, and it didn't have to explode. So, more water. There we go. Rinse. And we get on with it. First pass, setting three and a half, Parker variant, Asco blade, second use. Oh, that's a nice setting. That's a nice setting. Uh, wow, the 
that's how I set it. Just feeling the blade. Beautiful. Mad, isn't it? I was thinking yesterday, I often think it actually, uh, what my father would say to me filming shaves. <laughs> I, I listen to that. That's a good blade, that. That's cool, but I'm so glad I bought I bought a, in the Shave Meetup in Leeds, uh, as a few others did that attended, a selection pack of different blades they had in a basket by the um, till, or the cash regi register, as you call it. And uh, I've still got some I haven't used yet, but that's a good choice. I like that. And for me personally, Excellent audio feedback. We've got wafts of coffee going on. Um, the setting is just right. The blade is fantastic. It's just one of those shaves that's fallen into place. Uh, it's nice when that happens. That's lovely. Not much left, I tell you. Okay. Back to the brush. Look at that. <laughs> Pass number two. Now it's th it's thick and creamy, but it's not too thick. If that makes sense. Oh, come on, come on. Ideal morning coffee shave. It's one of those soaps. If you leave the top off, or now I've lathered it up, it smells like freshly ground coffee has been made in here. It's amazing. Well done, Katie's Bubbles. Nice idea. Glad I bought it, huh? Look at that soap. Beautiful. Right. Nice brush, too. It's quite a, a big handle. But very nice, um, works very well across the growth. Gross, you can go past the crack. Take two, you can go across the gross if you want. We're going across the growth. Thank you. Hopefully. You can see that there's an area, you've got to be careful of the overhang. Um, I was going to say, hopefully you can see how gently I, because I'm only holding it. Not like that, just... Across the road. Really enjoying this. Everything's coming together. <clears throat> and like the last shave. <laughs> but I enjoyed the shave, it was a shave. It worked. Uh, and thanks for all the feedback and the comments about that shave and uh, a lot of people seem to agree that it needs soaking or blooming in water but the fact is I always say this it's slightly annoying sometimes because you shouldn't have to soak a soap 
or add glycerin or add this and do it. It's nice fun doing it. I love doing it, but you shouldn't have to do it. And if you do, like uh, they should state it on the packaging. Let's use this as an example. It's just a little note in works better if bloomed or if soaked surface of the soap is soaked in water or something like that. And it would people would appreciate that. Listen to that. We're having no troubles like that today. Lathered really well. Let's tidy up, shall we? There we go. Somebody said I look like adamant from the white stripe, so how's that? Look at that, still plenty left. Too many, too many, too much. Look at that. You can't argue with that, can you? <laughs> hey? Like my mother when she made meringues. Look at that. Mm. Smell that. Beautiful, eh? And you know what it is now? That's right, against... Against the growth. Lovely. So here we are, against the growth. Using the Parker variant, which is good audio feedback. Asco Blade Second Use, which is absolutely superb. Setting three and a half, 3.5 on the razor. Listen to that, and it's just, oh, it's a lovely setting for me. Listen to that. Beautiful. Right, what are we having for Sunday dinner? Well, oh, listen to that. Pembrokeshire new potatoes, pork chops with the skin on or the rind on for that little bit of crackling to accompany the new potatoes and the pork chops there will be um, broccoli and cauliflower and there will also be uh, thank you, lashings of gravy and from the fridge Thank you. Cider, yes. Lashings of. And it will be Carling Dark Fruits Cider. Probably. And I've got a couple of cans of special, special, God, speciality cider. Made from elk. I think elk warning blackberry cider. I've had the strawberry, beautiful. Um, having said broccoli and cauliflower, I might have mushy peas and bro um, cauliflower. I don't know, but it'll be either either one. Anything's nice. Very carefully now, and then gradually twist. 
that did a lot for my irritation that and sensitivity going against the growth because I wanted to go against the growth but I couldn't in the beginning oh, it was just tugging I'd be cut and sore so I came up with a, a little way of starting like this as you know if you followed me sideways and gradually twisting the razor up so you're getting against the growth with no aggro that's lovely god that is good let's do a feedback test feedback slickness test Amazing, amazing, listen to that silence, you'll get some here though, there you go. Baby smooth. Pick up time. And pick up time. Flick some oh, smell it, come on. Nice. And it's not that. The funny thing is you can smell it and you may think when you open it up and lather it, it's a bit strong. But it's a nice, it is strong, it's there, but it's nice. I love the smell of coffee, see, so uh, it might affect you in different ways, I don't know. But uh, I find it very nice, especially in the morning. Lovely. Listen to this, silent. Oh, don't damage the razor. Just under there. Can be awkward. Not no more. Good slickness. Silence that was. Bit there, just always that bit there. Listen to this. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to use the alum. God, listen to this, I'm finding all sorts of bits. There we go, lovely. Rinse. I usually, usually take it out to the. Usually. So you have the packet, but I haven't said it, out of this little box. Wet face, wet alum. No feedback whatsoever yet. Nothing. 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 Oh, a slight tingle there. That sound is not good. Raise it back on there in a minute. So that's the alum. Very good. Now just rinse off again. Hmm. 
give you a chance to see them sunflowers. <laughs> like a ray of sunshine. That's lovely. Oh, beautiful. I was thinking, would the, the coffee overwhelm me a bit, but uh, oh no, beautiful. I really enjoyed it, look at that. Right, I'm gonna have to add a slight bit of lather, like this. Where was it there? There it is. That's the one. The Alan picked it up, you see. There we go, quiet, lovely. Okay. That's that. Beautiful. Right. Bluebeard's Revenge. Now this was given to me in the meetup, and uh, I'd never seen it before. And apparently, is this somewhere like Savers or some one of the pound shops? B and M bargains, home bargains, or whatever. B and M bargain, something like that, has them on sale for a pound or something. Bluebeard's Revenge. I got the soap. Is it there? No, it's in the other room. It's a match. Here it is. It's a spray one. Oh, nice! Smell that! I'm trying to think, does this smell like the soap? Be interesting to see how long it lasts, actually. That's nice, very nice. Just a nice fragrant scent. Um, Bluebeard's Revenge doesn't have a strong scent, but uh, I think it's a pleasant scent, but I can't, I can't sort of connect it to this at the moment. But very nice. And that came from uh, Manchester. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, all the way to Leeds. Right. To put the goodness and the protection back on this beautiful hide of mine. <laughs> beautiful. L'Oreal, my next word. Beautiful hive. <laughs> Don't need a lot. Beautiful. What a start to a Sunday. I love my Sundays. Beautiful company. Two wonderful cats. Lovely flowers. Cooking away downstairs in my or in my I can't speak in my awning in my element having the old aperitif on one side talking quite posh to myself and saying yes I think the old pork chop wants turning don't you <laughs> I'm joking right I don't know doctors. Knocking the door with white coats, saying, Would you care to come with us, sir? Let's do some, do some tests. And that is it. This one there, uh, before I, in case I forgot, uh, L'Oreal with birch sap. Very nice. That was on offer in Tesco's a week, last week, a week before. It was down to three, three pounds, was it? Something like that. Uh, half price. Somewhere. Nice, very nice. So that is it, as you can see, really close, smooth, shiny, comfortable shave. Everything in that shave was superb, really came together well. Sometimes you have the odd thing that goes wrong. Well, this one was superb. Katie's Bubbles Irish Coffee Fantastic Soap, lathered up very quickly. I used a synthetic brush, I left the brush wet, I would normally flick it out, then add water as I went. I said to myself, no, I'll try it. Wet brush, it wasn't, well it would have dripped, it was soaking under the tap, and then I just give it one flick. 
straight then wet into the soap and it, woof, that, it exploded beautifully. Plenty left, look. Beautiful brush, West Coast shaving, synthetic ivory, ebony, ivory, ivory. And um, my bowl. Yeah, lathered up, beautiful scent, I liked it. Strong coffee scent, like a you've got a percolator in the, in the room with you. And nice in the morning. And we used the Parker variant. Excellent razor again. Uh, Asco blade. Priceless, absolutely beautiful in that shave then. It was set on three and a half, which is perfect. The blade was used once. It was still fantastically brilliant at cutting through, you wouldn't think. It was like it's on its prime um, use, like a feather sometimes. When you've used it once, it gets better on the second and third shave. But that's a good combination. Good blade, Asco. And then I rinsed off with water use the Allen block and then rinsed off again use the Bluebeard's Revenge uh, aftershave and uh, very nice nice scent and still smell it a bit and I still smell the coffee and then put the protection back I've used this L'Oreal Men Expert Hydro Sensitive with Birch Sap and that's how I look as I said before it doesn't make it look good give you good looks but uh, it makes you feel good it doesn't make you good looking it makes you feel good yeah right so there we go thank you very much look at them like a load of eyes watching you <laughs> hope you have a fantastic sunday uh, great start to next week some fantastic shaves and i hope you remain good spirits and in good health until wednesday for the midweek shave you take care of yourselves.